Okay, here we are. This is the last uh, couple steps. And I'm only going to do the front half because basically the back half is the same thing with a minor little tweak that I might uh, have you go, I might go over with you. But anyway, um, so we've got the McKees port down. Now we need to do the greater Allegheny. Now here's the thing you're going to do a dissolve from uh, McKees port to greater, Al to, greater Al to greater Allegheny. So it's going to end up half of this track or whatever whatever the timing works out to be is going to be McKee's port then it'll be a dissolve but you want to line McKee's port up with the greater Allegheny so you're going to do this you're going to go up and you're going to make another in for the whole clip and make another out just keep it simple okay you're going to drag your input uh, controller up to V6 or the top level then you're going to go back to the uh, Photoshop document and you're going to go get the Greater Allegheny and I think th that is the Greater Allegheny and I think I was screwing around with it before and I took it down to 30 let's just bring it back up to 100 um, if I go video there it is I'm going to go back to my Greater Allegheny sequence I'm just going to click and drag I won't even go over why it doesn't move and why it's an edit and because I've said it enough you guys should get the difference between image and wireframe and not so um, it's too big so I double click I could just be quick about it and just double click greater I mean greater I'm sorry the McKees port graphic go to motion see that that's 30 come back here and type in 30 because remember I size it up in Photoshop so whatever I do to one I should be able to do to the other and should be pretty much one size and if you look at it, it pretty much is so I should be able to let that go now I don't want that to look like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this to listen for when he says our name is changing we are now okay and when I play this you know you'll get the unrendered which if you ever see that that just signifies that you've got some red space up here that's telling you that the computer needs to um, render the effects or render the video so let me play this state the key sport is changing we are now right there we are now okay I'll back it up just a hair okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure my snapping is on I'm gonna grab the keys port drag it back it'll snap to the timeline I'm gonna grab the um, greater Allegheny drag it from the back all the way up here it'll snap to the there okay and then I'm just gonna click and drag I can click and drag it or if I hold down my option key and my down arrow key it'll just drop straight on down you know, with no muss no fuss sometimes you drag stuff down you see how it kinda got off line and you're like oh my god and you can fix that but if you just do option down it just goes right in the line so now you have that and if you put a quick transition on that I don't like one second because it's always defaults to one second if you right click and hold it you'll see the duration is one second but if you if you select it you can go 15 okay and then do uh, option R and we're now Penn State Greater Allegheny okay we're now Penn State Greater Allegheny Penn State Greater Allegheny signifies our and it works now I think in my video I have that pretty much stay in there the whole time and that's just simply going and getting this and you can just drag it on out okay and the Penn State and just drag it on out to the end I believe does it go all the way to the end yes it does okay so that'll play through your whole video okay it looks kind of crappy here because it's not totally rendered so if I hit the option R it'll chug through it it'll look a lot better um, there you go uh, you can always if you look I've got a drop shadow on it if you want to put a drop shadow on it you can just double click that and go to motion and simply just say drop shadow and you can see it pop in there look up in the uh, the canvas you see how it changes that's all you can tweak that by changing the opacity making it darker and uh,
taking some of the softness away from it. All right, but you see that creates a whole unrendered line over top of the video. Okay, uh, real quick, the last thing, and this this will entail some movement. If you see that, you probably can Penn get. State Greater Allegheny. I think. Uh, uh, what do you call it? An effect to make that move. If you go into, and he should have gone over this, but let's go and create a new. Um, the, a font document uh, text and let's just go you see where I went I went to this pill button went to text the actual word text there I got this it always just throws this in there so you see what you're working with and let's just type in um, uh, ellipsis one two three the greater choice And put that. Okay, a couple things. I want to justify that to the uh, right. So I want to align it, and I can always check it by looking there. Okay, that pretty much looks like I don't know if it's the right font, but it pretty much is uh, what I have right down here. Okay, so what I can do is simply the greater choice. For okay, let's. And that will bring it in right there, and we'll put it up right there on uh, V6. So, what I'm going to do is uh, make an endpoint, and then we're going to let it go all the way to the end, make an out point. Well, let's go back one frame, make an out point, and then um, we're going to drop it over there. Okay, okay, so. If you look, I have a little bit tighter here, a little bit more space there. So let's first things first. Let's double click that, go to controls. There's probably something that says spacing, tracking. Nope, not tracking. So let's take that down. Uh, leading. Yep, so it's leading. So let's go back to leading and let's squish it up a little bit. Um, I like that. Um, uh, another thing you can look for, but this isn't really important for you right now, but um, the color, color should never be at 100. That's just too bright. So that's like 90% for me. So I'll go there and go to motion. Definitely put a drop shadow on that because that's kind of hard to read. I probably would use a thicker font. You probably can change, cheat and go bold with that. There you go. That looks a lot more readable um, and uh, also I probably have to come down here and extend up oh, not extend I probably have to put another color solid down there but you can do that later so I'm going to click my text and I have control over so I'm going to just bring it up here okay and just judging looking at this this may not work this may not be the cut because if you look at here He's not as big as big in the frame as he is over here. So I may have the wrong cut down here. So that's something you may have to take into account. Uh, so I got that. And the only thing that I really wanted to pull out here is, well, I talked to you about that. I'll render that, is how to get this to move. Because if you look here, that just slides in. You can do that one of two ways. The hard way is to do what the thing called keyframing. And if you ever want to know about that, ask me. But an easier way is to go into the inf uh, to the effects and go into video transitions, and I got a whole slew of them down here. A uh, slide probably sounds like what I'm looking for. A push slide, so I can drop that right there. And um, if you step through it, you see it's sorry, it's going from the top to the bottom. Don't want that. If you double click the effect. And it's see, uh, typically the way you realize which way it's going in this case is the arrow pointing up means it's going to go up. I want to come from the uh, left off screen to the right, so I'm going to point it in this direction at 90 degrees. And it should come right in like that. Okay, so if I once again render it and I play it. Greater Allegheny, a greater choice for higher education.